Hi guys. It is absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times. That would be Saturday, November 13th, 2021 as we and the little dog and I are barreling across the swamps of South Georgia on our way back to the Oasis of Freedom on this spectacularly gorgeous day. You know, just enjoying the beautiful weather, the scenery, listening to all the fine tunes from Pandora on my uh, on my stereo, you know, just another gorgeous day on the planet. And, uh, you know, just driving down the road, just thinking about, uh, <laughs> you know, just about all the various horrors of being a human. Uh, just uh, how everything out this window just looks so perfect. Uh, you know, it's just another beautiful Saturday on the planet, uh, and you know, lurking, lurking just beneath ground level, kind of like in that opening sequence to Blue Velvet. Just thinking of all of the, you know, the rot and the decay and just you know worms eating shit and bugs eating worms and uh, just all of this creepy crawly just ugly nasty uh, shit uh, good fucking guy this is this is what I think about when I'm driving alone uh, past the burned out old cotton fields and the rusted out farm machinery and uh, so I was you know going through my Rolodex this morning I'm you know I'm over there on Skype and uh, now I've got like 500 uh, names and numbers in my Skype you know, going back, well, almost 20 years, 15 to 20 years of my life is recorded in my Rolodex and my Skype. While I'm moving, uh, I'm going through the Rolodex and the editing and figuring out which of these names do I carry over to my smartphone as I'm starting a, a new Rolodex and figuring out, okay, which of these friends, former friends, whatever, do I keep and which ones do I move on to the new Rolodex going forward in my life? And my guess is if I have 500 names uh, in, you know, in my Rolodex going back 15 or 20 years, if one-tenth of them make it through the editing your friends process, uh, I will be pretty shocked. You know, I, I'm just looking at all of these names and of course one thing that I'm struck by is how many people uh, on this list are dead. Uh, how many ghosts do I have uh, still uh, clinging in my uh, in my uh, Rolodex from the look at this planet eating shit over here good fucking God almighty what in the hell is this I think this is a paper mill good God uh, so anyway you know, how many of these people are dead and, and that I will never ever uh, have in my life again? And not just how many of them are dead, 
but how many of them, you know, killed themselves? Uh, I mean, I'm seeing uh, my buddy hanging from a uh, hanging from a noose under a bridge in Austin, Texas. I'm seeing uh, this friend of mine. Uh, we think. I mean, we, we we don't know. We assume that she drove herself into the side of a bridge probably at 90 miles an hour out in Arizona uh, when her daughter did not invite her to her wedding and I said mom uh, you're not invited to the wedding anyway we don't even know and she ended up uh, you know they ended up picking her uh, you know her teeth out of the side of a bridge uh, then, then of course we have uh, my dear sweet neighbor uh, from the Point Lonesome Swamp blowing her fucking brains out uh, and doing me a favor a few weeks ago. I, I mean, just shit, just, just sifting through the goddamn wreckage uh, uh, of these broken, destroyed lives of people who finally just woke up one day and said, I've had enough of this fucking bullshit. You know, I'm better off dead. Uh, and, 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 and I don't know. And then, I, I, of course, you know, I, I get to look at all of these women uh, that, that I used to have sex with going down this line, uh, you know, the former Hambone Harem mostly in, uh, in South Austin, Texas, looking at uh, all of these women, uh, you know, that I've had my dick up inside, uh, wondering uh, how many of them are dead or alive. I notice a, uh, a couple of them are, uh, are dead that I know of. You know, when you start uh, counting the number of dead ex-lovers in your life. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking of coming into Hazelhurst, Georgia and uh, is editing out friendships and just wondering what the fuck uh, happened to these people. Now, most of these people, I don't know if they're dead or alive. I have no clue. If, uh, if I would say half of the 500 people uh, in my Rolodex, I have no clue if they're dead or alive. Uh, how would I ever hear? I guess I might hear some, uh, some rumor from South Austin, Texas, that someone else is dead by a heart attack or cancer or suicide. All right. Oh, God, do I go to the Crystal Hamburger place? All right, guys, I need to uh, figure out. Uh, oh, my God. Do I go to the load up on Crystal Hamburgers? Or do I wait for some good barbecue? So, uh, which direction is the good? We're going to go for a real meal. Uh, man, as good as those. Fuck, you know, every year I have my crystal hamburgers. Uh, once a year I need to get, so I need to get my 2021 crystal hamburgers. Speaking of uh, women in my Rolodex that I used to fuck, uh, <laughs> good old Lulu from Reno, uh, you know, dumping me over the over the Crystal hamburgers. Oh God! But I'm gonna go try to find me some real barbecue. It was we finally found Banks Barbecue yesterday. The, the only problem was is that it uh, it wasn't it, it wasn't uh, barbecue. I mean it was good food. It was good country food. 
it just wasn't barbecue. Don't have any idea why they called that place uh, a barbecue restaurant, but we are going to manifest some uh, good barbecue. Actually, Douglas, Georgia is in 31 miles. Uh, this is Hazelhurst. All right, so we're either going to manifest some good barbecue in Hazelhurst, Georgia, while we think about our friends uh, driving themselves into a bridge at 90 miles an hour and hanging from nooses under bridges in Austin, Texas. Uh, okay, where is the good barbecue? I know, I know that in Douglas, Georgia, there will be. I'm, you know, I'm already addicted to this goddamn little robot. Here's the Piggly Wiggly. That is my first Piggly Wiggly grocery store. I've seen <laughs> that really is the name of the grocery store. Is the Piggly Wiggly is the Georgia chain of grocery stores. All right, the Verizon store. Maybe I should stop in the fucking Verizon store and get a few lessons on this smartphone. So, you know, I'm a, I've already gotten addicted to this little robot uh, telling me how to get from uh, one spot to the next. All right, we've got Arby's, we've got McDonald's. Burger King, Arby's, McDonald's, you know, guys, we're so fucked that this is what has happened to America. Like, you can be in fucking Hazelhurst, Georgia. Uh, it makes no fucking difference uh, anymore where you are. Uh, you got your fucking McDonald's and your Burger Kings and all of this. Come on, give me some fucking barbecue. Here's the subway. Don't forget the subway. Oh, fuck. Yeah, just uh, the human condition. I won't even go through some other fucking emails I'm dealing with. I, I mean, just... Uh, you know, every every time I open up my fucking email now, I'm just wondering what in the fuck uh, is it going to be this time? What the fuck is is uh, goddamn bullshit uh, is showing up in my life? Uh, who is the latest friend dying of some horrible fucking disease? Uh, what is the latest fucking bullshit uh, in, in my life? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, it looks like I made it through another town with uh, ten goddamn hamburger joints and not one fucking barbecue place. Now, I know there was a good barbecue place in Hazelhurst, Georgia. Don't get me wrong, uh, so I will have to, uh, when I get to Douglas, Georgia, I'm going to have to get on my little smartphone and find me a big old plate of burnt pork fat. Another plate of burnt pork fat to get me through another fucking day in hell. Thinking about dead friends. Get out there and enjoy every one of your friends you can, guys. You know, you never know. You never know when your friendships are going to die over some bullshit or your friends are just going to wake up dead tomorrow. And, uh,. out there and enjoy your friendships on this gorgeous day and uh, I am heading on to the oasis of freedom
join my buddy Eric in Jasper, Florida. Get back on the road and back to my tunes now. Bye guys.